Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa has maintained that the government will not pay the millers seeking to exploit the state over the subsidy that capped maize flour prices at 100 bob per 2 kilogram packet. Welcome to Zafarani TV, a Kenyan online platform where I talk about the Kenyan politics. If this is your first time to be here, welcome on board. We are happy to have you around. Take a few seconds hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. Gashagwa revealed that the government has inherited an 8 billion worth of pending bills from the former president Uhuru Kenyatta's administration meant for the subsidy that ended in August. According to the DP, some of the millers and suppliers took advantage of the transition period and colluded with state officials to try and swindle taxpayers' money. And I quote, we will not pay bills without verification. They are telling us they have pending bills of around 8 billion, yet nobody even saw the unga. It was all theft. A few traders colluding with few government officials took advantage of the subsidy. He stated, Gashagwa disclosed that that officers had been instructed to scrutinize the invoices submitted and compare them with the supplies made to retailers before remitting payments. He further sounded a warning to all those who tried to con the state and I quote, the bills must be validated because these are public funds. Officers must be convinced that public money was used in the right way before they can pay. That's what I can assure you. He further stated the inspection, validation and auditing will be done in a thorough manner and if they are not, of course there are consequences. Gashagwa vowed. The country's second in command continued his attacks on retired President Uhuru Kenyatta for taking advantage of the food crisis to campaign for his preferred candidate, Raila Amolo Odinara. has maintained that the government will not pay 